Hello, friends. It's a great day. We're finally going to start putting our people together more. Sticking some stuff down. And from what I can remember from last week, we had... I went and cut up some arms and some legs, and I brought some pieces that could maybe turn into legs. Oh, no! I left glue open. Oh, that's not good. Me. So let's start thinking about what we're going to do. This gal we got on lock, right? She's going to go on a big page. Let's see what else we have. We were thinking that we would put this bird on this cat. This dog would be the boyfriend. We're trying to decide whether to have, you know, like this be her body and have some legs come down. And then we have a kind of a skirt thing. So let's see what we've got. We have, we could put him in a suit. And we, we have two arms if we need them. Oh, look, her, her neck thing is black, too. That could be fun. Let's just work on her, and then we'll think about him. Okay, so if we use, let's see what arms we have. I was thinking maybe she'd be cooking. So let's do that. So we have kind of fun arms, but I feel like almost could we do a kind of a skirt situation? Maybe she's, maybe they're a nice lesbian couple. Okay. And then we have these arms, if we wanted to put them on her, they'd be really long, but we'll just cut them off and round them. Then we have some legs. Ooh, those are kind of cute boots for him, huh? Her, him, them. And then we could do, we have a couple different sets of legs. We have boots. Or we have these legs. <laughs> Well, I think the first thing I need to do is cut the arms off so we can get an idea. I kept the body because I couldn't remember if we had a good body for this situation. There we go. Let's do this arm. And I always leave them attached together because I have come over here with two arms and come back with one arm and the other arm has disappeared into my home. This is gonna be really big. This. Oh, this is another arm. So I have another arm too if I need one. Three arms. All right, let's work on, I like that kind of situation over here. So we're gonna do that. What else do we have? We Oh, we have boots. But I don't think she's walking. Maybe this gal will be walking. Got a couple arms for that gal. But let's go ahead and make, figure out which arms we like the best. Well, let's do the legs first. So the way I do legs is I'm going to poke through here and then cut right along the rim of this glass. And this lets the legs stick out from the rim of, from, you know, and go behind. And now we're gonna cut our legs apart. Like I said, I bring them over together and then we cut them apart. And then we can stick them up in here. Flip this over. And then just glue our little legs down, so just so they're about even and just about in the middle. 
All right, now we have to see if our glue still works. Our glue does not work, and that's fair because I left it open. No, never fear. I have lots of glue. All right, we're going to use scrapbook.com smart craft glue. See how we like it. Maybe we could remember to close it, me. That would be nice. My two favorite kinds of glue, if you're looking to buy glue, are Nouveau glue, which is this, which works forever if you remember to put the lid on it, and Lawn Fawn. And Lawn Fawn comes, I don't see any of it around real close. Lawn Fawn comes in little tubes that I like because they don't, because they're in smaller tubes, they don't get dried out so fast. All right, let's do this again. Get her little legs here and in the middle. Just cut my fingernails yesterday. Me! I have literally no fingernails. Oh, look, look, look. See it when you see red in there? That means... There's a red thing holding the glue in there. Do I have pliers? I have pliers right here. Ah, see? Red thing. Keeps the glue in there during transportation. Now, my friend Deb Ward puts the red thing back in, which is probably smart. Um, I don't. All right, here we go. Here we go. Get out of here. Scrapbook.com Smart Craft Glue is very liquidy. I like a liquidy glue. I'm not mad. I just need to remember that. All right, let's put her other leg in. Do we want to make it? What am I going to do with this? I'm going to wipe it on my shirt. I frequently wipe things on my shirt. Okay, here we go. Now let's see where did her other leg go. Yell it out if you know. Oh, it went down here. All right, do we want to cross her legs? Do a Chrissy Crossy thing. Ooh, that's cute, huh? I like the cross leg. And now everything I'm touching is full of glue. That's Fine. Okay. Here we go. Cross legs. Cute. All right. Now let's see. Do we want? I think I do want her to not. We're gonna take this off because maybe we could use it somewhere else or not, or it could be a hat or the top of a bird head. Still up in the air if I want. Oh, that looks like brains. I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to just glue this part of her with a tiny bit of glue on top of this. There we go done me and then I'm going to come back in and get this little part that I didn't get the first time and it looks slightly like this this corner bit could use a little love in a couple of layers no less I think I remember this about using smart glue before when you get it on your hands, it doesn't roll off as easily as some of the other things do. And I'm gluing it to the back, which happens with all of them. Okay, now I do want to know, because we don't have very many gizmos, right? We're just making paper dolls at this point, so we don't have many gizmos to put with them. But let's kind of get an idea... If she's going to be here, and this gal's going to have a giant skirt with little tiny legs. We don't want them to be too dissimilar in height. He can be a little taller because we do have the bird sitting on her head. So we can get some balance 
but do we want to do a, since we have three arms, do we want to do an arm in the air, a bent arm, both arms just coming down. I feel like we have a lot going on with this one. So we're just gonna make a lovely little shoulder. Make two lovely little shoulders. Bing. All right. Now we can put that extra arm off to the side. That's a little choppy shoulder. Let's cut off that weird pointy bit. And it looks like this side of her collar is maybe not stuck down the best. And then we shall put her arm on. And all we need is a little bit right along that edge. And I do want a teeny bit of, well, I did want a teeny bit of separation between the collar and the arm, but it did not work out that way. And you know what? It's fine. Anytime you do something once, if you want to make it look like you did it on purpose, do it twice. Get me glue all the heck over. All right, so she's good. Let's put her aside for a minute and let her dry and figure out what we're doing with this gal. I love the giant skirt. Can we do a layering type thing where we put the, like her neck? No, I kind of want her to be pretty straight. Maybe a teeny bit swung because her under, her arms seem to be leaning that way. I like her that way. Let's go ahead and glue her on. And I just used my finger to, to kind of remind myself where I want her to be. And as long as she's close to that, I'm fine. Now, all I did was glue the base down. Her little ears are not glued yet to the thing, so we need to glue those down. All right, now we need to figure out her skirt because it is quite large. And then her little shoesies. Do we want to do the trick? I think we could do the trick. It's a very minimal amount, but it always just adds another layer of detail to have like a front and a back area. And I'm starting it on the front, but then I'm coming back in. And oftentimes it's much easier to cut from the back than it is the front. And then I can get those nice long cuts that I'm looking for. All right. So now we're gonna do that same trick. I'm gonna put her shoesies right in the middle. And I just want enough to catch them. I don't love this glue. I literally, my fingers are covered in this glue now. All right, I didn't explain very well last time while we were making paper dolls, why I make paper dolls. I like to, um, we're gonna cut this space between our fingers. I don't do this in my bedroom because her thumb getting pulled off would be very, very easy. Anyways, so I make paper dolls like this separate from my collage project because after making hundreds of them, I have found that it's easier for me, and everybody doesn't have to do it this way, but I have found it's easier for me to make them separately from my project rather than trying to worry about the whole situation at the same time. I get these guys all set up. They're all ready to go before I try to stick them to my journal. And that accomplishes a couple things. I can, 
if I glue something badly out here, I can fix that. If I glue something badly in my journal, that's what we're stuck with, right? And so for me, it's very comforting to know that I have that flexibility. All right, we're gonna wait to glue anything more. We're gonna glue in the journal today, don't worry. But we want them to kind of be intertwined. So as if they're standing on the same plane. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this out. As if they're standing on the same kind of line and then our bird will be at the top. Yeah, yes, we got that. So we're gonna do three pages today. Now this gal, we could put her on these arms. There's really no middle to her. I'd like to have a skirt or something happening. That's kind of interesting. Let's go to the bag. Okay, I have this folder full of stuff. Let's see if we can find any skirts or an, a body or... Oh, that's very festive, isn't it? Oh, that's a skirt. All right, we got a little unicorn. Oh, maybe we need a... Let's keep the uh, wings out. There's a legs. There's a potential body. Another bird. Some... Let's see. Oh, we got a skirt legs. And we got man legs. Is that two man legs? That's very weird. I don't know what why I cut that out, but yay me, I guess. What's this? That's a head, a head, a head, a head, a head, lots of heads. And a tiny little body. Ooh, there's maybe a body. Some elephantes, some legs. I guess we had plenty of legs. That's why you should always check. I keep thinking I want to make those into legs. They look fun. Is that Jennifer Garner? That's Jennifer Garner. She's so cute. Some, oh, some polar bears. I would like some polar bears in this. I am pro polar bear. That's a huge body. Well, we've got a pretty big journal. Let's see what happens if we do that. Kind of tip her head. Nah, it's too big. All right. Let's keep going. We're just scavenging through the layers of past collages. I like that lady. She's real. We got an airplane. We got a little castle. Let's put the castle over here. Stuff that's already cut up sometimes I'll just throw in here and there because it's ready. Oh, that's fun. Not, oh, there's a little body, but that's for... I wonder if this is the container that holds little things. Got some ducks. A big shoe. Somewhere there's a... Oh, look, there's some flowers. Those are pretty. Oh, more flowers. Yay! Border. Yes, please. <laughs> One of these days we need to do the... Um, oh, there's more fingernails. Didn't we see fingernails? Maybe I had a thing going. That's a background. That's a background. Well, this... Oh, wait. There's more. But oh, wait. There's more. All right. Those seem little. This is a background. I don't need a lizard. That could be a tummy. Do we have, do we have a, let's keep those pink things out as a possible tummy, but I do not need a lizard. There's a little tiny house. Oh, Poughkeepsie, that's from my trip up north. I bet you some of these things are from my trip up to New York, which is fat. Some backgrounds. Oh, there's a tummy. Let's see. Nothing exciting there. Nothing is jumping out at me. So I'm the 
kind of gal that would much rather make new things than old things. But after each project, of course, there's some stuff left. And so I put it in this big folder from scrapbook.com. And sometimes that's helpful. All right, let's see what we've got. So we did get some side pieces, right? We got some polar bears. We got a pot for a tummy. We got a little cut out house. Some other possible tummies. We got some background florals. This looks like those goes with the background florals. Another castle. And then there's our lady's head. All right, so if we put her big head on this little tiny body, rather than using this big arms, that could be funny. And then I just need something in the middle for her tummy, and I could use this pot. I don't mind that. Figure out something with it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because that's what, oh, wait, wait, wait. I lied. We have other stuff. We could make her feet go sideways. I don't really like that. We could use this as a tummy. Don't love that. All right, could we give her a wing once she's here? I like matching wings or a big wing. I'm not sure about that. Let's stick her together. And then we'll start to think about what we want to do. I think those, oh, look, we got a whole bunch of pink things. So we're going to put our pink things together. And then our not pink things together. And these are not going in the project. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of her, everything but just her head. We'll let her keep her ears. I very rarely let them keep their ears, but her ears are relatively nice. Perfect. Now we can her head on her neck. And I feel like, let's get this over. How tall is she? Is she gonna cut off? And she is gonna cut off. So we need to cheat as much space as we can do. So first off, let's do her legs and we're gonna cut her legs apart and make them separate legs at this point. I kept them together for the aforementioned problem of losing body parts, but I may have to make even this one leg a little shorter so that she'll fit better. We're gonna, we're gonna truncate her wherever we can. Otherwise, we're just gonna have eyeballs floating at the top of the page right we only got so much room and then we're going to cut the hole in the pot put her legs in i always poke myself and it hurts because tim holt snips are very sharp my husband just got me the tim holt scissors i don't know what they're called but they're the scissors that close on themselves they automatically spring open and I have a feeling for my big projects, that's going to be amazing because then I won't have to worry about spring their spring tension. All right, so this leg, I feel like we could make normal size. So we're going to put that right in there. Let's stick that down. I also think that um, this glue doesn't dry as fast as some of the glues. Do I need to move it over a teeny bit? Well, it dries fast enough to glue that. And then we're going to put this guy in here. I feel like it would go that way. And look, I cut off a, a, a fair bit by pushing it up inside this. And it is a little cattywampus, so there's things we can do. Don't fret. It'll be fine. Nobody will notice because you got a giant head. We're going to cut this apart and see what we need to do here. So now, if we break her neck, which is what Diane Ravely calls when you really tip their necks over, I feel like I would still want that behind her head. 
Yes. So we're going to glue, gosh darn it. And I am just pushing the barest amount on this to get glue out there. Okay, we're going to have her have a tipped head and an arm behind her head. Now I need to get this off my mat or we are going to have glued it completely to my mat. Like thus. It's cute. Okay, now do we want her body top? I think I do. Or do we want this to... No. Oftentimes I don't know what I want, but I can go, yeah, not that. So always try it a couple different ways and you'll be able to see like, yeah, I don't love this, but I really hate that. So let's see, are we gonna make it straight? Cause she's, we're gonna cant it even more. That's kind of fun. Okay, let's get our journal out now. Cause we made backgrounds. We made borders, we made paper dolls. It's finally time to glue something down. Where's some of our, we did this one. So we need to look at contrast, right? So if we do this gal on this page, are we gonna get enough contrast with the vegetables? And I'm not getting that. That kind of made them pop, didn't it? I feel like. And we're gonna have her come down to about there. Okay, that looks good. What about on purple? I'm I'm not getting like a purple vibe because it's more natural. Let's see what other colors we have. I know I did some more. That one doesn't have a background. That one's a mess. Too busy. I think the yellow one's our answer. Perfect. And we're, we're gonna cut off where we're not using. Cause I don't want it to be so far up. So to get her head on the page, we would be so far up. So I wanna do a Kilroy was here kind of thing under her nose. There we go, decision made. And now, I just want to make sure to kind of get her in the center. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the middle part first. So I'm flipping this over. I hope you can see it, but if you can't, just know that I am gluing this whole middle part and any little side pieces that are just right in the middle. Because I'm not going to try to glue this whole thing all at once. That would be crazy. So now we're just going to kind of scooch this over and any of the pieces that are good can go out. And then this gal, we're going to pull up. She's easy to glue down now. And I feel like these leaves aren't glued. That's glued. That's mostly glued. We'll try to get this little end guy here. I'm going to go right to left because I'm a righty. If you're a lefty, go left to right. But I'm just going to start. Try to get that one little layer. Do not cut glue with your good scissors. These are not my good scissors. Now, if we wanted to put anything behind here, which for this one, I don't really, um, now would be the time. Because you're not gonna be able to put stuff behind her. For this one, she's kind of the focus, 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 right? She's a big giant root vegetable head. So that is the focus of it. It's less of a, you know, like a decorative collage and more of a statement piece. And these guys, it feels like I'm gonna need to do together because the left one is actually over top of this one. So we'll do these guys at the same time. If you're using a tape runner or um, 
Tim Holtz collage glue. You don't have time to move stuff. Um, but with the kinds of liquid glues I use, I have a, like seconds, but I have a couple seconds of play time to be able to glue things down. All right, so that is all we can do for her today. We need to let her set and cure. You could not paint. It would ruin your paint pens. It would ruin everything. Okay, now I'm thinking, remember we had those purple ones? I'm thinking I want to have maybe my, see, I feel like those kind of go with the th this ice queen theme. And if we're making her an ice queen, cut off her foot and I could cut off a little bit of her head and she will fit. I definitely want my guys in the back. So if she's about there, I do want them to just lightly touch, but them to be in the background. All right, now I'm gonna do her middle again and I want her arm over top of this. Well, I want her right about there. Oh my goodness, I finally glued something exactly the way I wanted it. It's a miracle. All right, now I'm going to do her legs. Nope, this one's in the back. And then that one crossed over it a little bit. And I want that arm in the front. And I don't, if, if I glued it wrong... <laughs> It's kind of, this is why I do the paper dolls, right? So my liability is very low right this second because I could glue something slightly wrong, but I can't mess up my whole journal page by putting something in the wrong place and then having to remove it. That is just too much stress for me. I like to get this whole thing put together in a neutral third party place where I can just then go and glue it down. And I don't know if you can see the glue lines. I can see the glue lines right this second because they're wet. And I will tell you that I can't remember about this glue, but almost any wet glue the when the glue line when when the glue dries the the glue lines will be gone that's why i say you gotta let it cure let it set just gonna get her arm down okay cute i mean she looks terrible they always look terrible in the middle it's fine how do we feel? Oh, I kind of like that because it's it's a contrasting color, right? So you have purple and brown or yellow are contrasting colors. So they will look cute. This is cute. Now we just got to make sure we get it up high enough that we can get our bird. So we got to move these guys almost to the bottom to be able to get our bird in there. They just fit, man. Okay, so I guess he's gonna go over here almost to the bottom. There's not a, a huge amount of choice with how much, how much space we have. And I wouldn't put anything else in the background because there's no room. We're gonna have to fit anything cute that we wanna do kind of around these guys that take up the whole space, which is fine. Sometimes I have like a single one with stuff around it sometimes. We have like the root vegetable lady where she's the whole thing, right? There's no. Sometimes if your fingers get all gooey, you can use like a little piece of scrap paper to glue stuff down and then you're, you're not getting so much glue back on your stuff. All right. This gal now is going down, but behind this arm. And I want her feet to be about level with his feet. 
And I want her to cross him, but not cover his face, right? Oh, nope, get his bird foot out. Dang me, you're a good gluer today. Her leg is not glued down. And then we'll glue this arm. Oops, we gotta go all the way up there. Let's get his arm fixed, and then we'll get his house fixed. And that appears to be where everything's going to land, which is fine. And now our bird will fit in right there. Well, I'm glad I didn't put a head on my bird because it wouldn't fit, would it? So that's going to go right in there. His little legs are going to go right there. I got to get a piece of paper because I am covered in glue. I don't, I remember, I don't like this glue at all. No offense, but I must get glue all over my fingers because I remember this glue from before and it is not my favorite because I'm just covered in glue. All right, so we have three pages, fun pages that are glued and now we have to walk away. Even if you wanted to do anything, you can't because you got to let the glue dry. So we have animals, we have the ice queen, and we have the root vegetable lady. So that's fun. Next week, we'll do some doodling. Grab your pens. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.